ठीक अच्छे वे व्हाट इज द मेन डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन लिविंग एंड नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स हां कैन यू टेल मी मेन डिफरेंसेस हियर वी विल राइट लिविंग थिंग या एंड हियर वी विल राइट नॉन लिविंग थिंग्स ओके Speak in English. Yeah. First, we can differentiate it by some points with some points. Okay. First, have life. Okay. Have life. And here, what do we should write? Don't have a life. Don't have life. Okay. Then number two. they can grow they can move okay living things can can grow yeah can grow and here they can't grow they can't grow okay living things can move their own living things can move their own so they can move their own move their own but non living non living things ha huh? yeah they can't move their own okay for example if uh, we should take an example of car okay it can move but it's a living thing or a non living thing why the car is a non living thing i said the car can move then why should a car is a non living thing why not a living thing yeah it cannot move by its own okay so non living things cannot can't move by its own its own okay understood so now i told okay car can move but by the help of a person okay person can drive the car then it can move okay the car cannot move its own and then again any difference can anybody say living thing can respire okay respiration process takes place in living thing but non living thing can they can expire respire no okay some life processes are process. just a minute some life process are uh, processes are there okay for what we can say uh, some organism some certain organism is living things okay so uh, take an example of this table it can respire ha huh? no but we can respire or not ha huh? yeah uh, yeah human being the animals all are living things okay they can reproduce but non living things can reproduce no they can't reproduce okay so next point reproduction okay living things can reproduce can reproduce and non living things can reproduce there are many differences okay so then any other process any other process can you say living things can ha. eat food can eat yes living things can eat food but this bench it can eat food no why because it is a non living thing it can't eat okay plants can eat or not tell me plant is a living or non living thing how we can say it's a living thing yeah it can grow it can eat or not plants can eat how you can say that plants can eat have you seen that plants eating with its hand eating with its mouth then how we can say that it is eating ha huh? yeah it absorbs yeah it's absorb the water and the minerals 
from the soil okay and then it prepare its food what do you mean by photosynthesis photo means light okay what do you mean by photo light and synthesis means they can prepare their own food yes or no they can produce their own food then they can produce their own food with a process okay that process is known as photosynthesis okay who prepare the food for the plant who prepare the food for the plant which part of the plant leaves, leaves. leaves. yeah leaves are the kitchen of the plant okay do you know that point that thing yes or no ha huh? leaf is an important part in a plant because it prepare food for the whole plant okay which part prepare the food leaf prepare the food hey, okay and leaf from which part leaf get the water and minerals root okay because root absorb water and minerals from the soil okay then that water and minerals transported through the stem okay to the leaves then leaves prepare the food for the plant in the process of photosynthesis what do you mean by photosynthesis what do you mean by photosynthesis photosynthesis is the process by which plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll kiske presence mein sunlight and chlorophyll okay by using water and what carbon dioxide okay so photosynthesis is the process of food making uh, okay is the process by which the plants make their own food in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll by using water and carbon dioxide what what the what are the two substances water and carbon dioxide and it produces food that food is known as glucose okay what is that food called glucose the prepared glucose that food is known as glucose understood okay then we can say the plants are also living thing okay then tell me one thing plants can move or not tell me plant can move we are moving our own plant can move its own or not how we can say plants can move okay Yeah, the roots can move. Okay, plants roots can move or not? Hmm? How? Ma'am, the roots pull the trees and the trees. Roots pull the pull the trees. No, not exactly that one. Yes. Okay, root can move. So how? They can go deeper into the soil. Okay, and they absorb water and minerals. Yes or no? So we can say that yeah. plants can move also okay also when someone slaps us we can feel or not we can feel or not okay non living things can feel i say non living things okay plants can feel or not tell me yes ma'am how we can say for example can you give one example Have you seen mimosa plants? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Okay. If you touch it, okay, what happened? It leaves grow. Yeah. Okay. So it can feel also. It can means uh, yeah. It can feel also. Okay, we can say say from that example, it can feel. Okay. So all of it clear about living and non-living things. Okay. Tell me some differences. Living things. they have life non living things don't have life okay living things yes living things can eat non living things can't eat okay living things can reproduce non living things cannot reproduce living things can respire non living things cannot respire okay okay yes living things can yeah 
can move their own not walking living things can move their own but non living things can move their own okay the basic difference is that thing if you can say living things is walking it's okay but scientifically it's not okay okay we can write living things can move by its own okay but non living things cannot move by their own if we will take an example of a car means a car cannot move its own but when it get a driver a driver can move the car okay in that case okay understood about living and non living things okay these are the basic differences if anybody asks you say the basic differences you can say this things what are the life processes tell me some processes are happening in our body can you tell me for example yes can you give example some processes life processes what are that respiration digestion yes circulation okay the term is circulation and excretion then reproduction okay all our processes that are happening every day in our body yes no yes yeah that is a system okay i have told you previously i have told you okay organ means what what do you mean by organ what do you mean by organ yes yeah we can say a body part okay which are for specialized function means what wo ek hi function perform karenge okay and organ system means for organ system means what do you mean by organ system group of organs organ system means group of organs which perform a specialized function okay they perform a specialized a specific function only for example what for example can you give one example of the organ system yes no no i am asking the example of organ system any organ system in our body yeah digestive system okay organ system means what group of organs organ system what is this group of organs group of organs which perform a specialized or specific function okay you can say group of organs which perform any particular function ha any particular function we can say in a specific function we can say perform a specific or specialized fixed function Okay for example what are the different examples digestive yeah for example digestive system digestive system yeah then respiratory system this is number 1 number 2 respiratory Okay these are the different examples yeah circulatory system then excretory system reproductive system all the system uh, systems are same in human body both male and in female only except one except one what is that system reproductive system okay 
every organ system is same in male and female except one system only what is that system reproductive system understood kaun sa system different hai khali reproductive system baki sare system kya hai same hai okay but reproductive system is different in both male and in female so what are the organs that are involved in digestive system can you tell me what are the organs that are involved in digestive system mouth yeah mouth why we should say mouth mouth is the part of mouth is a organ of organ a yeah, digestive system because digestion process starts from mouth only okay okay by which part we are eating by our mouth we are eating so digestion starts from yeah digestion starts from mouth okay so saliva moisture yes in mouth teeth and tongue are there yes or no okay how teeth help us to chew our food to chew our food yes good yes when we are eating food okay we are chewing that food by the help of our teeth how many teeth we have 25 i am asking in an adult i am asking in an adult how many teeth are there 32 yes okay and in infant 20 20 milk teeth are there okay how many milk teeth are there 20 there are two sets of teeth in our lifetime okay we have first set is the milk teeth 20 uh, yeah milk teeth are in 20 uh, means a number of 20 and then permanent teeth after milk teeth okay they are starting uh, falling down after 6 uh, 6 years ओके सिक्स ईयर के बाद क्या होगा मिल्टी सब टूटेंगे झड़ जाएंगे ओके देन न्यू सेट ऑफ टीथ विल अपीयर इन आवर माउथ ओके व्हाट इज दैट टीथ परमानेंट टीथ वी कैन से दैट अ परमानेंट सेट ऑफ टीथ ओके मींस परमानेंट टीथ आर 32 इन नंबर ओके देन वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ आर देयर इन आवर माउथ देयर मींस फोर टाइप्स ऑफ टीथ have you have you have you know about the types of teeth ha huh? there are mainly four types of teeth incisors okay then canines molars and premolars okay there are four types of teeth in our mouth okay do you understood understood or not ha huh? how many types of teeth are in our mouth four types of teeth okay Uh, means uh, all the teeth having different functions okay so digestive system consists of which uh, which uh, tell me which parts mouth. which organs first mouth then uh, foot pipe or we can say esophagus okay yes esophagus okay foot pipe is also known as what esophagus esophagus what is the pronunciation esophagus esophagus okay then next next part stomach stomach okay there is a bag like structure okay that is stomach then after stomach yeah small intestine then large intestine okay when we eat the food we chew with the help of our teeth okay then our tongue helps in pushing the food down okay down to the food pipe kahan pe jata hai wo khana yes and sir uh, in our mouth salivary gland is there and it secretes what saliva and saliva helps in what moisten the food okay wo kya karta hai फूड को मॉइस्टन करता है गीला वेट करता है सो दैट वी कैन इजीली स्वालो आवर फूड ओके एंड आवर टॉन्ग हेल्प्स इन मूविंग दैट फूड ओके पुसिंग दैट फूड 
डाउनवर्ड टॉन्ग किस में हेल्प करता है वो फूड को हाँ पुश करता है डाउनवर्ड ओके नीचे पुश करता है ओके देन दैट फूड गोज टू द फूड पाइप ओके कहाँ पे जाता है वर स्टोमैट ओके देन इन स्टोमैट फूड चर्निंग इज दर क्या होता है इन स्टोमैट वॉट इन स्टोमैट मेनी डाइजेस्टिव जूसेस आर दे आर इन स्टोमैट विच हेल्प इन डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड ओके बट नॉट कंप्लीट डाइजेशन पार्शियल डाइजेशन इज दर इन द स्टोमैक फूड चर्निंग इज दर ओके वॉट एपेंड इन स्टोमैक इट मीन्स टेल मी द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ स्टोमैक इट इज जस्ट ए बेग लाइक स्ट्रक्चर ओके एंड वॉट एपेंड इन स्टोमैक एक्चुअली फूड चर्निंग इज दर एंड पार्शियल डाइजेशन इज दर इन द स्टोमैक ओके मेनी डाइजेस्टिव जूस जूसेस आर दर इन स्टोमैक एंड मी एंड इट मेक्स द एसिडिक मीडियम एंड आवर फूड गेट पर्सियली डाइजेस्टेड दियर देन दैट पर्सियल डाइजेस्टेड फूड गोज टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन ओके फ्रॉम स्टोमैक दैट फूड गोज टू द स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन देन इन स्मॉल इंटेस्टाइन वॉट एपन कंप्लीट डाइजेशन इज दर कंप्लीट डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इज दर ओके पेनक्रियाटिक जूस फ्रॉम द पेनक्रियास एंड बाई जूस फ्रॉम द लीवर पेनक्रियाटिक जूस फ्रॉम द पेनक्रियास एंड बाई जूस फ्रॉम द लीवर विच बो मीन्स बोथ आर बेसिक इन नेचर बेसिक मीन्स फॉर बीटर ओके बेसिक नेचर मतलब क्या बीटर लगेंगे कड़वा ओके बोथ आर बोथ सिक्रेस फ्रॉम पेनक्रिया पेनक्रेटिक जूस फ्रॉम पेनक्रियस एंड बाइल जूस फ्रॉम लीवर दे हेल्प इन डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड कैसे हेल्प करते हैं दे हेल्प इन डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड ओके देन लीवर एंड अदर वन इम्पोर्टेंट फंक्शन ऑफ लीवर इज वॉट कैन यू टेल मी एन अदर फंक्शन ऑफ लीवर वन इज सिक्रेशन ऑफ बाइल जूस एन अदर इम्पोर्टेंट फंक्शन इट एक्स लाइक ए फिल्टर ऑल्सो ओके हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेस क्या करता है बॉडी में फिल्टर इट फिल्टर द हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेस ओके इफ लीवर इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली वी मे डाई हाउ इफ लीवर इज नॉट वर्किंग प्रॉपरली वी मे डाई टेल मी हाउ कैन यू टेल बिकॉज इट सीक्रेट बाई जूस ना ये बाई जूस इज नॉट देयर हाउ द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस विल ऑक्योर टेल मी हाँ इट हार्म द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस ऑल्सो ये बाई जूस इज नॉट देयर डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड इज डिफिकल्ट ओके एंड एन अदर रीजन इट एक्स एज ए फिल्टर इट एक्स जस्ट लाइक ए फिल्टर इफ इट विल नॉट फिल्टर द हार्मफुल सब्सटेंसेस फ्रॉम आवर बॉडी देन that harmful substances that toxic substances accumulates in our body wo kya ho jayega hamare body mein jama ho jayega and we may fall ill we may feel ill okay hum bimar pad jayenge okay our various systems wo harm ho sakta hai okay it can harm our all body system also understood so it is Uh, very, it is very important to take care of uh, our body. Okay, we have to eat properly. Understood? Huh? And don't eat packaged food. Okay, that is not good for our health also, and not good for our liver, our body parts also, because there are uh, in that packaged food. Okay, many means uh, many not many bad things are there. Okay, so don't eat junk food. Understood? Just eat healthy food every day. Fruits. Eat a lot of fresh vegetables, fruits. Okay, leafy vegetables. Okay, and always try to take a balanced diet. Understood? Then your digestion process will run smoothly. If you will 
take a balanced diet every day your digestion process will what ha huh? yes it smoothly happen okay it will takes place smoothly digestion process understood if all the life processes in our body will run smoothly then we will be stay healthy and happy okay children understood also understood so for today your homework is what you have to read this chapter and you have to write 10 basic differences between living and non living things what you have to write your homework for today write 10 basic differences okay write 10 differences all of you write the homework in your diary write 10 differences between living and non living things yeah this is the homework for today yeah write write your homework in a copy or in your diary